Choose life and live. Buy original. Be original. S O N. It's the science of measurements that touches every aspect of human endeavor. Everything you do in aviation, oil and gas, medicine, engineering, name it, the list is endless. It's metrology and it's life. What is it about this subject and does it affect our lives as humans? We shall tell you all you need to know about metrology. We have details of resolutions reached at the just concluded AFRIMET General Assembly in Abuja, Nigeria. The program is Standard and You, and always my pleasure bringing the program to you. Mondays at 6.30 p.m. on this station. My name is Ifoma Okonkwo. Please stay tuned. The Standards Organization of Nigeria, SON, brings a new lease of life to Nigeria SMEs. SON has put a greater premium on developing standards to improve made in Nigeria products for export. We have developed more standards for products like Sesame, Coco, Gary, and more, courtesy of our accredited state of the art laboratories. In keeping with the federal government's ease of doing business, SON has simplified its processes and turned around time for SONCAP, MANCAP, and other certification processes. SON has intensified market surveillance, raids, and seizures to reduce substandard products in circulation, and offenders shall be prosecuted. Join SON in reading our nation of substandard products. If you see something, say something. Standards Organization of Nigeria, improving lives through standards. to have you back on Standard and You, the only authoritative platform on television where you get to know more about product safety and quality. It's an initiative of the Standards Organization of Nigeria to promote standardization in the country. Moving on, man is increasingly depending on technology to achieve virtually every human activity from health, agriculture, aviation to oil and gas. There is hardly any aspect of human life without the science of measurements and accuracy. In fact, our activities are determined by critical instruments of measurements used to determine accuracy and traceability. We shall, for the purpose of education, limit ourselves to the healthcare sector. Please take a look. There is a popular saying that health is wealth. No doubt. This is a universally accepted fact. This is because man's survival can only be guaranteed when he or she has good health and a sound mind. This good health is by the minute being threatened by diseases and germs in our environment. The use of technology has made it easy for man to combat diseases to stay alive. Today, there is hardly a home where you won't find medical instruments such as thermometer, a device that measures body temperature. A sphygmomanometer, also known as blood pressure monitor, used to ascertain blood pressure level, or test stripes used to test sugar level. These devices that are possible and easy to use are imported into the country from other parts of the world, especially from China. Like in other parts of the world, Nigerians now rely on these machines for medical diagnosis. What it means, therefore, is that these medical tools are vital and critical in determining the health of Nigerians. But how many in our society know that these devices need to be calibrated periodically to ascertain the accuracy of the results of figures they render when they are used? To calibrate a device is to make, adjust, or check the controls of tools to ensure accurate figures. After the checking of the blood, and uh, I know that uh, sometimes I used to have uh, abnormal results. Sometimes it would go high and sometimes it would come down. So by the time I checked it, it was a bit higher. So I went to hospital uh, and I've seen the doctor and I'm been treated. If you are somebody that is not sensitive about it, what will happen is that um, it's likely you, you get carried away. 
that maybe ah oh, maybe your sugar level has gone so high or it has gone too low or you are happy even if your sugar level was very high before and maybe now comes drops by your own calculation wrong calculation of your machine then you now feel that you have you have faith that maybe thank god your sugar level is low or maybe if it was low before it now becomes so high you have that anxiety that is too high yeah what can be done is that you check your machine at times it could be the battery Sometimes when you buy a fake battery the battery doesn't will always show you a wrong measurement then again if your machine is not properly kept or if it's used by it's just um, kept anywhere in the house and it's, it's, there's a tendency whereby you can always have it faulty there could be faulty anytime it leads to death at times and uh, probably it could be the fault of the handler the person handling the machine or otherwise investigations have shown that most of these equipments are not calibrated this development poses great danger to users of these devices who depend on the figures for diagnosis. Well, it can be dangerous in that they give, they give you inadequate diagnosis or inaccurate diagnosis, which if the doctor follows that report like that, might carry out wrong treatment with me, cause either morbidity or more ill health in the patient or mortality, death. For a faulty instrument now, like in the case of uh, taking temperature, like you mentioned, it could be dangerous in that instead of measuring the accurate uh, temperature rise, like in a child, it could give you low readings. So if you follow the low readings, you might be deceived in not knowing that the high readings it's supposed to get is something that you should tackle urgently, or otherwise it could lead the child into having convulsion. And convulsion is dangerous to the child's head because it can have complications, which a child might, might not recover from go into coma from cerebral malaria or into coma from meningitis and then probably brain damage if the child survives because of the faulty measurements from the um, thermometer like your blood pressure measuring machine which you call the speed manometer it's very very important to get accurate results otherwise if it's giving low readings of a high reading where somebody has an elevated temperature the person could go into stroke of which we know the complications, damage to the brain, damage to the heart, paralysis of parts of the body, um, impairment of speech and cool. Then for the blood sugar measuring level too, very important, uh, who have high blood sugar levels that can cause diabetic coma. Or you keep having consistently bad results, not knowing that the sugar level is high, which will be causing gradual damage within the body, damage the kidneys, damage the nerves, damage the blood vessels, and you have complications like um, sores, or what you call diabetic ulcer, which may result in amputation of a leg, the establishment of the National Metrology Institute, NMI, by the Standards Organization of Nigeria is to, among others, promote accuracy and traceability in Nigeria. Metrology is a key component of the national quality infrastructure. And metrology also supports the other components, like the conformity assessment, the accreditation, standards, you know, so without metrology, all these other components cannot strive. You know? And the, the sole aim is to enhance international trade you know, by overcoming uh, TBT, technical barrier to trade. Very, very important. The benefits of the NMI explained are numerous. In the hospitals, we ensure that all these instruments used in measuring whether it is blood pressure, whether it is the sugar level, whether it is heart uh, rate uh, pumping or whatever, they are calibrated adequately. You know, because when you calibrate these instruments, then you know the level of accuracy of those instruments. You know whether they are giving you wrong results. You determine the, all the errors. 
you know, the instruments are given when you, uh, they are used. So, the NMI will solve these problems. The NMI in Enugu, Southeast Nigeria, on the construction is at 95% completion and will be ready by October 2018. Measurement cuts across all individuals. You know, we're talking about um, environmental protection. We're talking about consumer protection. We're talking about safety. So it cuts across everybody, even in private homes. People should come and support metrology, you know, establishing metrology infrastructure in Nigeria, even private companies. But if you go to other countries, you see private firms supporting the establishment of metrology infrastructure, you know, donating money, donating equipment. Private sector, they can donate equipment to the NMI. They can assist some in building this infrastructure required because it requires huge money. The extent of work we have done there now is, is amazing. If you go to the site now, you see the, the, the structure. You have the equipment already supplied. And we have, uh, you know, some companies like uh, agencies like Unido, you know, trying to help by donating equipment, you know. But there is not enough. It's not enough. We still need Nigerians. We still need companies in the private sector, you know, oil companies and so on. Because the NMI will, will serve all the sectors of the economy. The installation of the various equipment is ongoing. Manafa says training of staff of the institute has also begun. Welcome back and thanks for being a part of the program Standard and You. Government will continue to develop quality infrastructure to promote standardization and dismantle barriers to trade within the African continent. Chairman of the Board of the Standards Organization of Nigeria, Edet Akpan, gave this assurance at the 12th edition of the AFRIMET General Assembly in Abuja. Lucy has details of that story and resolutions reached at an interactive forum. Chairman of the SON's governing body, who was represented by Dr. Ifani Okoye, acknowledged the importance of the Metrology Institute to Nigeria's socio-economic development. The establishment of the NMI, he noted, will strengthen regional and international trade. Metrology is one of the most essential infrastructures for any manufacturer to showcase his product anywhere in the world you must have an adequate meteorological institute that is recognized internationally, and this is one of them. The whole idea of citing the National Meteorological Institute here is for us to have uh, a primary source of metrology in Nigeria and West Africa as a whole for accuracy in trade and um, scientific uh, development. Director, National Meteorology Institute, NMI, Obiora Manafa, puts the just-concluded AFRIMET Assembly in perspective. He speaks on resolutions reached. They congratulated Nigeria and Son, and our DG in particular, for granting them that, you know, the hosting. That's one. Two, they also uh, agreed to cooperate more and more, you know. All the NMI should cooperate more and more in the area of measurements, in the area of what we call Intercomparisons, laboratory intercomparisons. Like all the all the NMIs that have not started doing the intercomparisons. Like we hope that before the next GA, that Nigeria must you know have started. Uh, that's why we are very eager in establishing our NMI. So one of the resolutions is that all the NMIs that have not started their intercomparisons will make sure that before the end of this year that they will start their intercomparisons. Because intercomparisons is a way of showing that we have come of age, that we have started participating in international meteorology activities all over the world. Because we want to be at par with in the international bodies. The essence of the NMI is to give that confidence in Nigerian products. That when products are being exported, people buying those products will have confidence that, oh, these products are coming from a country that has good Metrology system, good infrastructure, quality infrastructure, not only metrology, um, conformity assessment, standards, uh, uh, accreditation, and metrology. So when they are convinced 
that you have all these things in place. You know? Then that's the elimination of TBT, technical barrier to trade. They will buy the products. And you know, metrology is science of measurements. So we need people to know the importance of measurements in our society. We need people to know the importance of accurate measurements. Because measurement is life. Without measurements, people will die. Metrology ensures safety, it ensures environmental protection, it ensures good health. Director General of the Standards Organization of Nigeria, Osita Boloma, has challenged local manufacturers to be quality conscious and be relevant in the global market. He said this at the official presentation of ISO 9001 2015 Quality Management System Certificates to Right Foods Limited. Alimot Osifo reports that the DG was represented. <laughs> On behalf of the Director General Standards Association of Nigeria, Mr. Osita Sonia Aboloma, I hereby present this hard hand certificate, well deserved, to your family. That was the official presentation of ISO 9001 2015 Certificate to Right Foods Limited in Ijebu Ode. It is a reflection of hard work and dedication by the company over the years. ISO 9001 2015 is a quality management system which ensures consistent product quality and customer satisfaction. ISO 9001 2015 has benefits. One of it is that it has conferred global recognition on this factory or any factory that has the certification. Secondly, it has um, improved you know, consumer confidence in the products of this uh, company because for the fact that a third party, standard organization for that matter, has confirmed that the company is complying with the requirements of standard, it's enough for any fa um, consumer to be at rest. This uh, certificate helps to imbibe, sustain and improve quality by ensuring that the processes for management commitment, resource provision, facilities and the staff all work in meeting the requirements of the international standard. So once there's conformance, the system continually to improve. And nice, a bit more official. Um, in, in everything, it touches you know, how you treat your customer service. It's very customer focused, right from you know, the, the cleaner to the um, security guy to the plant manager. So that's really what it teaches us, to be extremely customer focused. In a similar development, OVH Energy Marketing Limited and Mocha Limited were also awarded Integrated Management System Certificates, which covers ISO 9001-2015, Quality Management System, ISO 14001-2015, Environmental Management System, and ISO 18001-2007, Occupational Health and Safety Management System Standards. Since 2006 that the company started um, its certification or its uh, implementation of uh, quality management system standards then um, it went on, on to um, environmental and occupational health and safety. There has been consistent maintenance and improvement of the system and of course SON is very happy with that. More so that this new um, editions of the quality management system standard and um, environmental management system standard requires the organizations to really focus on their strategic uh, business objectives. They are interested uh, stakeholders put policy and objectives in place to meet their requirements and at least we have 
well convinced that during the audits that they were adjudged to be implementing and meeting, achieving their policies and objectives. The award is a milestone by these companies who maintain quality products and services, environmental protection and safety of employees in the industry. It's a confirmation that we are doing a good job in, in setting standards, yes, and then adhering to them. And it's all about making sure that day on day you improve, irrespective if it's in quality or if it's in, in environment, if it's in health or in safety. So it gives us, it gives us the opportunity to really standardize and make this company on a continuous improvement journey on a day-by-day -day basis. SON is an extremely important organization because actually without an organization uh, like that that actually helps you but also benchmarks you, I actually you're always in a kind of vacuum. So both the assistance but also actually the, 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 the auditing actually helps us to do better and to stay on a high level. Though both companies have been adjudged to conform with international standards, the systems being certified are placed on annual surveillance and audits to ensure consistency. The Standards Organization of Nigeria, SON, brings a new lease of life to Nigeria SMEs. SON has put a greater premium on developing standards to improve made in Nigeria products for export. We have developed more standards for products like Sesame, Coco, Gary and more, courtesy of our accredited state-of-the-art laboratories. In keeping with the federal government's ease of doing business, SON has simplified its processes and turned around time for SONCAP, MANCAP and other certification processes. SON has intensified market surveillance, raids and seizures to reduce substandard products in circulation and offenders shall be prosecuted. Join SON in reading our nation of substandard products. If you see something, say something. Standards Organization of Nigeria, improving lives through standards. You're watching Standard and You on this station. It comes to you Mondays at 6.30 p.m. The program is powered by the Standards Organization of Nigeria, the SON. Time now to join Alimot Osifo in on our feedback segment. Over to you, Alimot. Welcome to the feedback segment of the program. I am Halimot Osifo. Did you know that as a consumer, you have moral and legal entitlements? These include right to redress, right to safety, right to information, right to consumer education, and more. Right to redress allows you to request for a repair, replacement of products, a refund of money paid whenever you're dissatisfied with a product or service. Right to Safety provides you with safety instructions and warnings to protect you from possible hazards of a product. Right to Information gives you access to all necessary information about a product to be consumed, such as product content, ingredients, prescribed usage, best before dates, labeling information, amongst others. As a consumer, you must analyze and use this information wisely. Right to Consumer Education is a lifelong responsibility which keeps you updated about product safety and quality. It's important for us to know our consumer rights because an enlightened consumer is an empowered consumer. Beyond that, we must ensure our consumer rights. And I'm glad to tell you that the Standards Organization of Nigeria is one government agency committed towards that. So, what are you waiting for? Report to us whenever you're denied value for your money or denied your consumer rights. Now, let's take a look at some of the messages we received last week. Oka for Ijoma from Enugu says, I want to know more about the program. Standard and You is a public sensitization program sponsored by the Standards Organization of Nigeria. You can tune in Mondays at 6.30 p.m. on NCA. Anonymous Messenger says, to the best of my knowledge, Sun has a representative at the seaport. How come we still have substandard products in our markets? Sun does not operate at the ports, making it difficult for us to prevent the influx of substandard products into Nigeria. Yes, we still have substandard products in the market because of some unscrupulous businessmen who engage in products cloning, adulteration, and other illegal business. We all have a role to play in curbing this menace. Good luck, says Son, you're trying, but please try harder to ensure that all items in the market 
conform with standards. Yes, good luck. We will not relent in our efforts and rid the markets of fake and substandard products and ensuring that only goods that are of good quality remain in our markets. Nana Aisha from Kaduna says, I always enjoy your program and I wish you the best. Thank you so much, Nana. Glad to hear from you. And that's the much we can take on the feedback segment of the program. For any information, you can call us on the number 0705972 Reach out to us on Facebook at Standard and You, Instagram and Twitter at Standard and You underscore. You can also send a mail to the address, the Standard and You at Gmail. Com. Remember, we have videos online at youtube.com forward slash standard and you. Don't just view, like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. From the entire production crew, good evening. <laughs>